do it. I've been riding for roughly about seven to eight years, paying the dues. My yard is in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. So I'm worried once I go back to Vegas that it's going to be like, whoa, this is hot! You know, San Diego right now is treating me very, very well because where I live, I have trails within a mile away, skate park with half a mile away, and I just about have everything. The beach right next to my house, I can see it out outside my window. So it's pretty exciting, something you don't get in Vegas. Right now, I've been riding a bunch of local people from San Diego and all the staff from Legoland, the true shredders. The people from San Diego are awesome, but it's always good to be the hometown boy, so I have to say Vegas boys here. They represent for sure. But don't get me wrong, I love San Diego. You know, lately my riding style has been switching out quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's San Diego water or what, but I've been riding a lot of skate parks and I'm known to ride dirt more than anything else. So, street, skate park is my main focus right now, even though I'm going to the gravity games for dirt. Yeah, right now my biggest tricks are pretty much about as big as my little tricks, because my big tricks, I've been doing them daily basis. This is how I can do the little ones. Back plus right now is a big, big trick, but it's becoming more of a setup trick. If you do a plain backflip, it's just, you know, to get you set up for the next jump. So you gotta combo it up or knock out a double backflip. But I know the, the dirt bike people are even doing backflips and they're not even making the cut no more because they're trying to do 360s on the dirt bikes, but backflips in my books is still pretty tough. The most recent trick that I just learned is the 360 tail whip. That one gets your uh, heart pumping pretty good. You know, tail was one of the most exciting tricks I ever learned and do till this day. One of the reasons is because you don't know if you're going to pull it once it gets to that point, but you have to stay on and once it comes back around, you're just like, whoa, I pulled it off. So every time that I do it, you know, you're kind of excited that you pull it and ride it away. This is by far one of my scariest tricks that I can do. Feels good, man, because not a lot of people get a chance to do this. And I feel like I'm winning the audience.